Osama bin Laden's death is bittersweet for a family who lost their son in Iraq almost four years ago. KXOY 4's Tanya Dahl spoke with that Spokane, Van, Spokane Valley family tonight. Well, Clyde, the Grothy family plans on visiting their son's grave tomorrow to mark the four-year anniversary of his death. Corporal Kelly Grothy's family is relieved to hear that bin Laden is dead, but they're also reminded of their loss. He was killed in May of 2007. At a very early age, Kelly Grothy knew he wanted to be a soldier. The military was just something that was always he was interested in from the time he was, you know, roughly grade school on. Um, we pretty much knew that he would join the military. The Central Valley High grad thrived off adventure. That's why joining the military and serving his country was a perfect fit. You know, he fought for the freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, the freedom to be who we are as Americans, and that's what Kelly believed. On May 3rd, 2007, Corporal Grothy was clearing roadside bombs when the 21-year-old and a fellow soldier were killed by an improvised explosive device. He knew the odds and the risks going in. Despite knowing the odds and risks, Corporal Grothy's parents and his family continue to struggle with their loss and pain. It was made by our nieces. Oh, wow. And they had pictures, you know, from the time he was really little. Bin Laden's death leaves the Spokane Valley family burdened with both the sense of relief and sadness. You know, at first you're thinking, you know, it's done, but it's not. And as, you know, time goes on, people don't realize that you know, by Osama bin Laden getting killed, it puts other soldiers and, you know, military personnel in harm's way. And while they mourn their son, uh, the Grothy family is waiting for their second son, Aaron, to return safely home. He's getting ready to be deployed to Iraq for a second tour of duty. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4 HD News.